There's no daddy to look after the kids, so we throw them in their little cage and we go and we get turned. Hey kitties, guess where mum has been? Boo! So, you know when I said I loved the whole give by Gwen Stefani thing? Well, I wasn't talking sh I have about 10, 15 minutes to whack on a face because I'll be going to the Oriton and Archie Rose event tonight. Get her drink on, you know. It's not easy having children. So let's see what I picked up from Sephora's. Gwen, you better throw me some freaking money. You want to be broke, girl. I decided to go down the lip line. Last time I only had the one. I am obsessed with Dolled Up. It's still my favorite. I got cheese. I got the Anaheim Lime. Anaheim... I got the Anaheim line, Harbour, Harbour Boulevard. I don't like this name, it's too hard. The only hard thing in this room at the moment. Then I got the Pouch to Get Real. This is about overdrawing and I look stupid when I overline my lips. I don't know if it's the beard. So you hairy bitches, I feel for you too. Then I got three of the other lip glosses, Sweet Tooth, Candy and All My Love. I went all over Sydney to find this bitch and I got the last one. Gwen, Gwen, more. I don't understand who wants a pale ass lip. There was the only one that wasn't selling and then overnight, it's the thing to do. Again, I've got like 10, 15 minutes. So look for tonight. I'm actually going to keep it very natural with a pop of color. I'm gonna show you a different way that you can use the liner. And we're gonna stick to one palette, keep it really simple. So I'm gonna do the Just A Girl. Just like I did with the Spiderwebs liner the other day to act as a base for my color. Sorry, I'm not even on the camera. <laughs> I'm actually gonna put a long wearing eyeshadow down as a base. Gwen only has the black and the blue, so I'm gonna step outside. I'm sorry, Gwen, I'm sorry. This is the Mecca Zoom Stick in Rust. It is the base for almost every look I do. Here's a little trick. Blend it out with your finger. It'll take off some of your base and create a really flawless, smoked out look. Another good thing about taking a little bit of your base off is that your eye does water throughout the night, the day, whatever. It will actually look flawless for longer because you've just got that hint of your skin peeping through. And I'm just gonna do it on the top. Buff it out to the socket line. This works on any eye shape. Mono lids, aggressively pulled eyebrow lifts. It'll actually hide the scars. Blatheroplasty, I think. Break his arms. These don't matter if they're 100% perfect. We're just getting it for longevity and a little bit of depth of the shadow. Gorgeous, I could go out like this. I'm gonna jump straight in. I'm typically not a fan of doing this, but with this highlighting shade, because it is so soft, I'm going to introduce a little bit of moisture. And some people like to use water and all that. I'm all about a setting spray. It's just gonna really give longevity to the shadow and turn it more into a liquid shadow. Water is great, but I find over time it can flake off. This usually has humectants and stuff in it, which is something that's gonna draw moisture in, which is gonna really adhere it to the skin. The skin is a moist organ. Dip it in your shadow first, then spray. I cannot handle it when people spray directly in the pan and just murder them all because you know what? They're stupid. We don't like stupid here. No, no. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, oh. That noise you can hear is the beginnings of an erection. The little bit of moisture that remains of that is not going to affect the shadow pan. It's only when you spray directly into it. You don't need too much moisture. It's always good to be moist, but we don't want to be dripping. Not yet. It is only the beginning of the night. We don't want to appear easy now, do we? No, 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 no. No. Now let's go into the socket. Keep it really blown out and smoky. Again, don't have all the time in the world. If you keep everything really soft, everything's just gonna look flawless and it's really gonna enhance you. I'm gonna stick to my same blown out angular eye. No asymmetry with the makeup, please. No, no, no. I do not want to look like Quasimodo. That will be for my first botched facelift. The shape of the brush, because it's a dome, will really help you diffuse those edges. This is such a gorgeous shape. I don't even know what it is. I'm gonna call it Salmon Vulva. <laughs> Now, I'm going to take, I don't know what I'd call this, an almond tip, taking just the tip and really smoke out that lower lash line. Then you really want to connect it to the shape moving up so it really draws that eye up. We can't afford an eye lift, we're going to fake it. I use a highlight brush to dust on a corrective powder. Go through and just cut that little piece right there and really ensure it's nice and angular. Then if you go through with your powder brush and really just soften all the edges, a lot of people struggle with their makeup looking good, let's just say it. A lot of the time is because it's not blended. If you diffuse all your edges, you're always gonna have a professional finish and it's always going to be more flattering. I'm gonna go into the darker shade in the palette, which is big surprise and really just keep it to the outer eye. Keeping the depth to the outer eye is really going to draw the eye out. So if you want to draw your eyes closer together, you would put the darkness on the inside. Taking that same brush, I'm going to then sweep just very lightly under the eye and then connect it and really bring it into that socket to create a bit more depth. Because this look is going to be more about a really light lid, we're just going to really reserve it to that socket line. Because I'm a woman of a certain age, I'm just going to get a clean... They're as clean as my brushes get. ...brush, and I'm just going to soften all those edges, make sure there's no 
skipping. Really get that smoke out of the product. You could go like this, but because I really do like that salmon vulva color. Mm. I got it wrong the other day. Lucky me. I'm gonna really just go through and etch out the shape. Don't think about it as packing on color. You really just want it to be like a tickle, tease the upper lid. Just go in there and just lightly graze it along. Let the brush do the work for you. <laughs> gorgeous she's gorgeous i could leave it there but i won't little trick start further in from where you want your shadow because you can always blend it outwards later if you start where you want it to be you have nowhere to blend outwards and so it'll often draw the eye down make you look tired droopy depressed and children we have medication for that now oh Ah, I'm keeping the shape quite round around the socket to really highlight that lid color. This is a really gorgeous soft color for every day, love, love, love. But this is a place where alcohol will be flowing and I need to look a little bit promiscuous. The reason why I'm not using this is because I need to clean the... Wait a minute. <gasps> All the influencers do this. <laughs> now I'm going to take Destiny, which I thought was the uh, other color. So that's the highlight color. And oh no, no, I'm li I lied again. I'm full of shit. <laughs> we're going to take Pink Ribbon, and then we're just gonna really pack that onto the lid. I love her. I'm all about her. She's going to become my everyday lid look, one and done. I usually feel that way about pregnancy. But really make sure we work it into that outer depth color. Take one of your crease colors, gonna lightly buff it over the edges, just to really frame that gorgeous gorgeous pink ribbon number i'm loving every inch of this now taking a tiny little pencil brush some people call it a bullet brush drag that pink ribbon under the lash line god took the time to chisel these perfect eyes so we should frame them now to the part where we had a little bit of fun the part where we're a little bit dangerous the part where the old ladies clutch at their pearls without smearing them we add a bit of color with bath water <sighs> Oh. Then we're going to just whack a pop of blue right in the middle. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Look at that. Oh my. Oh my god. Look at her. She's lost it. She's lost her mind. She's an idiot, but what a glamorous idiot. This is just to lay down a bit of color. This doesn't need to be precise. We'll go in directly with the tip later and really get that depth. We like her. We love the bathwater. Take a gulp. Diffuse those edges because we're going in with something that is rather unnatural. We don't want it to be too harsh. We don't want to be children's finger painting. This is gonna be a layering back and forth process. I will put some on, I will take some away. I am wearing blue on my inner corners. Why? Because I might be slightly unhinged. I've softened it up, but I really want to bring that pop back in just to shape the eye. Of course, I'm not going to do the smart thing and sharpen it. No, no, no. I'm going to disappear for a sec. I'm going to do my brows and lashes. And I'm back. We've done a bit of a top and a bottom lash. I'm going to do something wild and provocative and shocking. I am going to set my face. I don't like when people do this. I don't care what you say. You look like you had two gay slugs slide across your face. But because this eyeshadow is so soft, I'm going to use it as a highlighter. That is why I'm spraying my face first to really get that maximum intensity out of its shimmer. I'm gonna use Destiny. While it's still wet, buff it on to the face. Never forget the bridge of the nose. No, no, no. Another layer of setting spray. It is going to melt that highlighter in. Oh, oh, Gwen. I've gotten a bit too self-indulgent with the eye, so I have to get onto the lip real quick. Is one of the ads, I'll insert the picture right now. <laughs> I'm going to use the same colors. There is a brush on the end. Oh, two different sizes. So you don't have to, Gwen. Gwen, this is a blade tip. It's designed to overdraw and then fill in. When overdrawing your lips, a lot of people go hell for leather and really paint in their filter. And they're, <laughs> filter. That's your filter. Only go half a millimeter outside the lip line. And the good thing about this is you can line and because it's that blade shape, you fill it in at the same time. If you color in, say to about, it's really gonna push that lip forward, really emphasize that pouty fullness. I actually prefer my lip line to be slightly feathered. I really don't like an aggressive lip line and especially on someone with facial hair. I just don't like that contrast. You wanna wear it, and this is the last time I'm giving a freaking disclaimer. You do you, do whatever you want to your face. I just might be vomiting in the background because I think you look heinous, but if you look pretty, you think you look pretty, girl, do what you want. I normally hate this kind of lip color on me. Uh, Gwen? Going straight in my bag too. Well, I'm glad that my money wasn't wasted. When you want to give yourself that poutier look, the mistake that people make, and especially people with smaller lips, is they will take the gloss right to the lip line. Do not do that. Keep it to the center. It's really going to round out the shape of your lip. Really give you that full rooster sucking lip. Oh, a little bit more for Gwen. For Gwen. What are we thinking? I mean, 
Yes, that's my empty hot sauce. I'm obsessed. I've been talking about it for a week. I will continue to talk about it. I'm gonna do that thing, ready? If you want me to try the lipsticks, comment below. When I earn some money, I'll buy some more because I literally have just bought four lip glosses, two palettes, two pencils for the eye and two pencils for the lips. So she a little poor at the moment. Do we like, do we love? Good luck trying to get sweet tooth. I got the last one at Bono Junction Sephora. <laughs> Bye kitties.